Anna Georgina has been an international brand from day one because we started in London and then we branched out back to South Africa. We've structured Anna Georgina into three. The Anna Georgina Light, which will be only available to South Africans. And then we have the Anna Georgina, our international brand, where we do beautiful made-to-measure service. Then we have the Anna Georgina Couture. It gives us the opportunity to do a little bit more wow dresses that is close to our heart when it comes to being a creative person. My choices of lace this year is going back to my roots where it was a lot of flowers but I'm adding flowers that is almost distorted. It's more art deco. Almost all the laces that I'm using has a silver element to it. The whole idea of nudeness, it gives a warmth to the dresses which is a trademark that we do. Previously we've done the separates where we have the skirts and the tops. That did very well for us in London. What we're focusing on this year is more on construction and how a dress could be more accessible for different shapes. So if I had to get married, it depends on two things. There's the wow factor, and then there is the elegant factor. If I have to pick from my current collection, it would be the Aurora Mikado silk dress, which is a complete ball gown with an extra customized train. It's got the shell beading around the hips. And then if I have to party afterwards, then I would wear a different dress. I will go for the Alyssa dress and I will customize it with a, a heavy silk, which will still give that sexy low back feeling. It's like wrapped in a blanket of luxury so I can move, I would be able to sit, lie down, but that would be my choices.